Alright, what's going on everybody? My name is Leon and welcome to my YouTube channel, I guess. So this is my first video slash moto vlog and I'm 17 years old. I really love to ride my motorcycle. So basically I thought why not just create a YouTube channel to show all the people what I do, lol. I could tell stories, I could talk about how I got my bike at a young age, and I could also just go on rides in big groups and show you guys how I do it. So, also, do not worry, this whole video is not a voiceover, it is a moto vlog. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and move on to how to get a motorcycle as a team. So, what's going on guys? You're a 14, 15, 16, 17 year old kid, and you really want to get your first motorcycle. Well, this is kind of hard for a lot of people, because there are the troubles of uh, getting your parents to let you get a bike and also finding the money see those are the two main factors that you're going to run into when you want to get your first bike getting your parents on your side about buying a motorcycle and also getting the money to buy a motorcycle because in most cases even if your parents let you get one they'll not they're not going to pay for it so let's start off with the easier of the two getting the money for the bike getting money for a motorcycle is so much easier than people make it out to be. You can get money various entrepreneurial ways and you can may have fun doing it too. You can sell stuff at your school, you can drop ship, you just basically have to figure out how to raise a thousand dollars. For your first bike, you do not need a lot of money. You need, you could get a nice bike for eight hundred dollars. My first bike was a Hyosung GT250. It was a 2012, I believe, and I got it off of Craigslist for 800 bucks, and it was perfectly fine. The bike was great, and it had, what, 8,000 miles on it? For 800 bucks, are you kidding me? Like, that was so worth it. So, people do not need to go get a super sport for their first bike. They just need to chillax, get something that they can get their money back on when they decide to sell it, and just have fun with it. As you can see, Right now, I ride a, what is this, Ninja 300, yes, and I love this bike, don't even get me started, I'll make another video on that some other time, but basically, getting money is simple, you can sell candy and sodas at your school, although you're not allowed to, don't tell them I told you to do that, but you can always do it, you can do a bunch of things, like help around the house, get paid for that, and just save up for a year, a year at max. And then you can get your first bike. Until then, you can take the safety course and have all your fun learning on, I don't know, a rental bike or something fun like that. Getting the money is the first hiccup, but it's pretty simple to get over. Furthermore, we have the parents. Now, this is troubling sometimes. Lucky for me, my dad rode bikes for a long time, so it was pretty simple for me to get into riding motorcycles and I had a little bit of dirt bike history. I'd ride a dirt bike when I was younger since like the age of seven. So my parents are pretty easy but I understand that there are so many parents out there that will not let their kid get a motorcycle no matter how bad that they want it. So listen, this is what you do. The biggest thing is you ensure your safety. You tell them, guys, I'm gonna go take this three day safety course that will ensure that I'm safe I'm a safe rider out on the streets and I can behave and be a good rider overall. And then this will hopefully, I don't know, push them sort of more towards giving you a bike. Not giving you a bike, but letting you purchase a bike. Then you just bring it up, bring it up ahead of time. If you want a bike when you turn 16, bring it up on your 15th birthday. Like, even if they're really against it, just be like, guys, I can't wait to get my bike when I'm 16. Even if they shoot you down. You're just engraving it in their brain a little bit and they think about it more and more and you will be able to get a bike when you're 16. So, here, when you're dealing with your parents, there's certain points you really need to hit. You need to hit, I'm going to take the safety course. I'm going to do good, I'm going to be safe on the road, it will ensure my safety, I will have the certificate, I will show you and that will prove that I'm good, especially if you pass it the first time. If you pass it on your first try, you're gold. Next up, you tell them you're gonna work hard and you're willing to work hard for the money in order to buy your own bike. See, that's fantastic because they see you have a goal of life and that you're willing to work for it. Next up, set up 
specific barriers, like tell them you'll stay within these city limits until you're this experience. And then they'll keep thinking about it and they'll be like, okay, okay, I can deal with that. See, these three things are super important in order to get your parents on your side about riding a bike. And they will pay off in the long run no matter how hard you have to sit for them in order to get it. Riding a motorcycle at a young age is one of the most fulfilling and fun things on this planet. And I think everyone who is not completely incapable and, and or stupid should definitely have a motorcycle as early as they can. Because it's great. It's so much fun. It keeps you out of trouble. It's fantastic. So basically, those are the two things that you need to overcome in order to get a bike as a teenager. And you unlock the key to having the most fun in your entire life. Thank you guys so much for viewing, watching, listening to this like tips and tricks video from me. It's my first video, bear with me. I'm gonna get better at this, you watch. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, comment on where you guys want me to go, ride, talk about. If you guys have any questions, comment them. I would be sure to answer. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great time, and I'll make a new video soon.